Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of full stack Java projects, we are going to see a project here, Employee Management System. And this project is developed using Spring Boot and Angular. And we are in day three. And in the previous videos, we have seen about the introduction, what we are going to do in this Employee Management System. And in the last video, we have seen this IDE, how to download this Spring Tool Suit we call a shortcut STS and by using this URL, we can download this Spring Tool Suit and we have seen in the last video how to download and install this Spring Tool Suit and how to create a Spring Boot project using Spring Tool Suit. Now, coming to this project employee management system, in this project, what we can able to do, we can manage the employees like we should able to add the employees, add employees, update employees, then delete employees and list employees. We should be able to see what are the employees list present. And this project is developed using Spring Boot and Angular. The back end is Spring Boot and the front end part is Angular. And we are going to create the REST APIs to, in, to invoke that REST APIs from Angular framework. And today in this video, we are going to learn about project lombok tool we'll be seeing about a tool project lombok tool which is very very important while creating the project classes or entity classes so in this video we are going to see about project lombok tool this is very very important tool and a very very simple tool and it is mainly used while creating your project classes or entity classes what is this project Lombok tool is? Project Lombok tool. Lombok is a Java library tool. It's a Java library tool that is used to minimize, that is used to minimize the boilerplate code. It is used to minimize the boilerplate code and save the time of developers save the time of developers during project development during project development by just using by just using some annotations we just make use of some annotations in this lombok tool like example if you consider a project class or entity class like example, if you go with a class like book, I'm going with a class like book. Now in this class, we go with the private properties like private int, book id, then private string, book name, private double, book price like this. Now, once we create this, Pojo class or entity class, we go with what? We create constructors. We go with constructors. We create setters. Like example, we create a setter method like public void set book ID, which takes int book ID as argument. And we'll say this dot book ID. This dot book id equal to book id. So similar way we create getter methods. We create getter methods. Like one, one of the example I'm taking, only part of the code here. Public string get b name. Get b name where it returns the value of b name. Where we return the value of b name. Like that, we can have setters and getter methods for all the properties and we even go with two string method we create two string method so what is the entity class in generally in project class or java bin or entity class we go with the private properties we go with the constructors setter methods getter methods and two string method now if i create one more property here if you add one more property to the entity class like for example private string author so whenever we add the properties, whenever we update our entity class, 
we have to update our constructors we have to update our setters we have to update our getters we have to update our to string method now if i change the property also for example if i am making this property name like book name when you change the property name like book name we have to go to the constructors and update the code we have to go to the setter methods update the code we have to go to the getter methods update the code for example like get book name we have to write here what get book name so we have to update our method names here also what we have to written written book name so whenever the property is getting modified we have to update our code even like example if i change the data type here for this book price if you change the data type to integer again we have to go back to the code and update our code means whenever our project class or entity class is getting modified every time we have to go to the constructor setter getter to string method and update our code based on the property name or based on the property type like that and whenever we add new properties again we have to update the code so this is the drawback what we are facing and this is repetitive to job so whenever we create entity class or project class every time we have to create constructor setter getter to string again if you create one more entity class again we have to create constructor setter getter to string so this is repetitive job for us that repetitive job only we call boilerplate code so in order to minimize this or to remove this boilerplate code we make use of project lambda tool and how to use by just using some annotations like example the annotations are like above the class if i just use no ax constructor and at the rate all ax constructor then creating constructors is not required then if you are using an annotation at the rate setter at the rate getter then setters and getter methods are not required if we use annotation at the rate to string then creating to string method is also not required and we are having one more annotation like at the rate data this is similar to at the rate setter at the rate getter and at the rate to string instead of using these three annotations we can simply even use at the rate data also so now once we apply this lambda connotations now in future to this entity class if you add some more properties if you change the property name if you change the data type of your property nothing to worry your annotations will take care of all those roles so in that way it is going to reduce lot of burden lot of time to the developers during project development then how to download this lambda tool download lambok how to download this lambok tool is by using this url we can download like https colon slash slash project dot org download project lambok org download open search engine like google and you can search here for project lambok dot org download now here you can find this download link click on this download link see once it gets downloaded run this application just run this project lambok.jar file run this application now here we have to specify the location for which you want to use this lambok tool i want to use this lambok tool for our spring tool suit sts ide so we have to mention for which id which ide you want to use this lambok tool we have to specify the location by default it takes eclipse now for us i want to go with the spring tool suit so specify location where it is located in our case it is present in c tray c tray users raj s and downloads folder downloads folder here you can see our spring tool suit spring tool suit 4.25 so in this STS 4.25. You can see our application. So select this folder where our Spring Tool Suit is available. Select this folder and say install. That's it. We have to click on this install button. Then quit installer. That's it. This completes our installation of Lombok Tool. And once the installation is done, we have to open our Spring Tool Suit. Open Spring Tool Suit.
and one more point here after installing lombok tool if the ide is if the ides are open close the ides and reopen and we have to reopen this one you should remember now, now choose the workspace you can go with some workspace Let me close these files. Now let us create one more new Spring Boot project. File new Spring Starter project. Let me go with the name like Lombok project. Type Maven Java version 17. Group Lombok. Artifact it takes the name Lombok project. And let me go with the package com dot Lombok dot entity then say next here choose the dependencies let me go with the spring web spring web and let us add one more lombok let us add lombok so whenever you want to use lombok we have to search for the dependency lombok here so i'm just adding these two dependencies and click on finish button the project will get created now in this project you can see in pym.xml file, I can see the Spring Boot starter dependencies got added. One is Spring Boot starter web and one more is for Lombok, project Lombok. Now, let us create one entity class in this package, com.lombok.entity under src main java, create one entity class. Let me go with the name book. Say finish. Now, Go with the private properties private private int book id private string book name then private int book price now see observe this side area so we are having see book class with these three properties book id book name and price now apply the lambda connotations at the rate no arcs constructor at the rate all arcs constructor now import the package up here import the packages here now see the constructors got created here so it is going to create a default constructor and argument constructor see the constructors got created just by adding these annotations now let us add observe this side area now let us add the annotations like at the rate setter, at the rate getter, setter, getter. Now import the packages for this setter and getter. Now see, it has created C, set book ID, set book name, set book price, and even getter methods get book ID, get book name, and get price. Right? Then now, if I modify the code, if I change this property type to double, see, it is automatically getting updated here. See, here set name, it's taking double and see the written type, it is becoming, see, double here. So, when I change the type also, it's automatically getting updated. Now, say add one more property, add one more property, private string author. See, okay, observe right side. See, automatically getting updated see here. It is creating author and see. And see, you can see. Set author, get author. See, the, it's automatically getting updated. And see, to the constructor also, it is taking one more argument, string type. So, that is the main beauty of going with this Lamba connotations. Now, even we can use at the rate to string. At the rate two string, and once you import the package, see that two string method also got added to your entity class. So these are about Lombok and Lombok tool and Lombok annotations, right? So whenever we are creating projects, we make use of this Lombok tool when we create project classes or entity class entity classes for your project. That's about in this video. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.